Pythagoras' theorem is a rule for right angled triangles. It says that the longest side squared is equal to the sum of the two shorter sides squared. We can write that as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the two shortest sides squared are then added together equals the longest side squared. We call the longest side the hypotenuse and you always find it opposite the right angle. So this is the longest side in this question. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The two shorter sides are a and b and the longest side is c. So let's look at this example. Find the length of BC. So we're finding the longest side of this triangle. And we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared in any right angle triangle. So we know that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. That means that 5 squared plus 12 squared must be equal to the longest side squared. And 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. So 25 plus 144 equals C squared. 25 plus 144 is 169. So C squared is 169. To get C by itself, to get rid of a square, we do the opposite of squaring, which is square rooting. So C, if we square root both sides, will be the square root of 169, and that is 13. So it's 13 centimetres. So 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared which means that this length must be 13 centimetres. Okay, a question for you to try here. So find the length of AB, give it a go. So again, we're finding the longest side in a right angled triangle. So we're finding the hypotenuse, the longest side, and we know it's a right angled triangle. So we can use Pythagoras, A squared plus B squared must be equal to c squared. The two shorter sides are a and b, and the longest side is c. The longest side is the one opposite the right angle. So we know that 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. So 9 plus 16 equals c squared. 9 plus 16 is 25. So c squared is 25. To get c by itself, we square root both sides. So c is the square root of 25, which is 5 centimetres. So the answer, c, is 5 centimetres, because 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Okay, this time we're doing the same thing but we're going to use a calculator to work out our answers. So find the length of AC. Again, we're finding the longest side in a right angle triangle. So we're going to use Pythagoras. And Pythagoras says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The two shortest sides are A and B. Either way round, and the longest side is C. So we've got 7 squared plus 5 squared equals our C squared. So let's grab a calculator. If we do 7 squared plus 5 squared, that's 74. So we can say that 74 is equal to C squared. And to get C by itself, we're going to square root. So C is going to be the square root of 74. So if we square root our answer, the square root of 74 to one decimal place is 8.6. So C 
is 8.6 centimetres. So 7 squared plus 5 squared equals 8.6 squared. So the longest side is 8.6 to one decimal place. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. And again, we're finding the longest side in a right angle triangle. So the longest side we're going to call C. The two shorter ones are A and B in either order. So Pythagoras' theorem says A squared plus B squared equals C squared, which means that 7 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. 7 squared plus 4 squared, we can work that out in the calculator, and that is 65. So C squared is 65. To get C by itself, we're going to square root both sides. So the square root of 65 to one decimal place is 8.1 centimetres. So we've got 8.1 centimetres to one decimal place. Here we have a different example. This time we're working out one of the shorter sides. So we've been given the hypotenuse, we know the longest side, and we're working out one of the shorter sides. We can still use Pythagoras' theorem. So it's a still a right angle triangle, so it's still true that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the two shortest sides squared and added together equal the longest side squared. So if we substitute into our formula, we get a squared plus 8 squared equals 17 squared. To get a squared by itself, we take away 8 squared from both sides. So a squared equals 17 squared minus 8 squared. 17 squared minus 8 squared is 225. So a squared equals 225. To get a by itself, we square root both sides. So the square root of 225 is 15. So a is 15 centimeters. So 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. Or 17 squared minus 8 squared equals 15 squared. Okay, one for you to try here. So find the length BC. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem again. We know that the two shortest sides squared and added together equal the longest side squared. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared, which means A squared is equal to 10 squared minus 8 squared. 10 squared minus 8 squared is 36. So a squared is equal to 36. So a is the square root of 36, which is 6 centimeters. Okay, another example. This time we're giving our answer to one decimal place. So we're finding one of the shorter sides. We can see that we know the hypotenuse, the one opposite the right angle we know. We can say that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if we substitute in, that means a squared plus 6.1 squared equals 8.2 squared. To get a squared by itself, we take away 6.1 squared from both sides. So a squared is 8.2 squared minus 6.1 squared. Let's type that into the calculator. 8.2 squared minus 6.1 squared, which is 30.03. So a squared 
equals 30.03. So if we square root both sides, so square root our answer, we get A by itself, and to one decimal place, that's 5.5. So we've got 5.5 centimetres to one decimal place. Okay, one for you to try here. So give this one a go. So again, we're finding a shorter side. So we can say that A squared plus 7.3 squared equals 11.7 squared which means a squared is 11.7 squared minus 7.3 squared. Let's type that into the calculator. So 11.7 squared minus 7.3 squared, which is 83.6. So a squared is 83.6. So if we square root both sides, the square root of our answer to one decimal place is 9.1. So A is 9.1 centimetres to one decimal place. Here we've got a different example. This time we've got two triangles joined together. So we're being asked to find the length of BC. So BC is this length here. So I'm going to call that X. And I've got two right angle triangles joined together. So the first thing I'm going to work out is the shared side. So if I work out this green side here, and I can do that using the top triangle, using Pythagoras on the top triangle. And then once I know this green side, I can use Pythagoras again on the bottom triangle. So for the top triangle, we're working out the hypotenuse, the one opposite the right angle, the biggest side. So we can say A squared plus B squared equals C squared, which means 7 squared plus 6 squared equals and I will call this one y. So 7 squared plus 6 squared equals y squared. So 7 squared plus 6 squared is 85. So 85 equals y squared. So y is the square root of 85 which is 9.2. But I'm going to leave that number in the calculator. So I'm going to use the whole number. So I'll just write 9.2 here, but I'm going to use the whole number because it's still in the calculator. So now we know this green length, so we can use a second right angle triangle. And we're working out the shorter side. We're working out one of the shorter sides 12 is opposite the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. So we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which means x squared plus our green length, which was 9.2 squared equals 12 squared. So to get x by itself, to get x squared by itself, we take away 9.2 squared from both sides. So we can say x squared is 12 squared minus 9.2 squared. So 12 squared minus the answer squared, because 9.2, the answer is still in the calculator. And that's 59. So x squared is 59. So to get x by itself, we square root both sides. So the square root of the answer is to one decimal place, 7.7. .7. So that's 7.7 .7 centimetres to one decimal place. Okay, a question for you to try here. So try and give this one a go. 
Again, we've got two right angle triangles joined together. And they've got a shared side, which is DB, BD. And we're working out AB. So what we're going to do, we're going to work out the shared side first using the bottom triangle. And then use that to work out our unknown X in the top triangle. So if we call the shared side Y, on the bottom triangle, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, which means that Y squared plus 5 squared equals 8.2 squared. If we take 5 squared away from both sides, we've got 8.2 squared minus 5 squared. And that is 42.24. So y squared is 42.24. To get y by itself, we square root. And that is 6.5, but we'll leave the whole answer in the calculator. So it's 6.5 to one decimal place, but we're going to use the whole number. So let's just call it 6.5, but keep the number in the calculator. Then for our second triangle, the top triangle, we're working out the hypotenuse, the longest side. So we know that 9.5 squared plus our 6.5 squared equals x squared. So 9.5 squared plus the answer squared equals x squared, so 132.49. 132.49 equals x squared. To get x by itself, square root both sides. So we're going to square root the answer. And to one decimal place, we've got 11.5. So x is 11.5 centimeters to one decimal place. And to finish up, two questions, pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one, find the length of AC. So we're finding one of the shorter sides. So we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So A squared plus 9.6 squared equals 15.3 squared. To get A by itself, or A squared by itself, we take away 9.6 squared from both sides. So A squared is 15.3 squared, take away 9.6 squared. So we've got 141.93. So A squared is 141.93. To get A by itself, we square root our answer. And to one decimal place, we've got 11.9. So A is 11.9 centimeters to one decimal place. And question two, we're finding the longest side, the hypotenuse this time. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we'll type into the calculator 5.5 squared plus 6.5 squared, which is 72.5. And to get C by itself, we square root both sides. So C is the square root of 72.5, which to one decimal place is 